What's up guys, my name is Potato and this is another Brink gameplay video. Um, so I've played this game for a good amount now, um, and this is my original character that I've apparently already beat through the first uh, section, not the security ones, but the, uh, the regular ones, and this is uh, the polar opposite that Puddle's actually made, and uh, hopefully we'll see him a little bit later on in the day. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to show you guys the menu a little bit more. Uh, because a lot of people are asking me about how everything works and this is how you change your appearance and um, it works like just like every other new game where you have to unlock things by uh, earning experience and leveling up and it seems like I'm at the point where I'm not getting things from doing challenges it's just uh, once I hit a certain level I'll be uh, I'll unlock it and this is the hat that I'm trying to go for I'm trying to get this this goddamn miners helmet but um, Still haven't gotten it yet, and I think I'm like level seven or eight. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I made him look like a retired fireman and gave him some sweet pants. And um, you can also customize your weapons uh, quite a bit, actually. And I, I'm I, I'm actually really happy to see that they did stuff like this. And I believe this is a semi-automatic, so having uh, maybe one of these types of scopes on it would be good. But, um, here we go, we'll throw that on there. <coughs> uh, silencers as per usual, and you'll see right here, uh, these challenges right here have to be completed before you unlock them. And this one's for uh, the two star of parkour this, and I, I did that earlier. This is for the uh, one star in escort duty, and, uh, oh, okay, these are all for escort duty. Um, and all these, uh, all these muzzle breaks are just, uh, just, the different way that your flash pattern will happen, the muzzle flash. And it's up to you. Um, I wish they showed you what it looked like. I just kind of choose whatever one, whatever. Uh, front grip, uh, grenade launcher, and speed sling is something new. Um, it allows you to switch weapons a lot quicker. So if I'm at my secondary and I need to go back to this one, I come back to it a lot quicker. And uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan of front grip, so I usually add those immediately. Um, and then there's uh, obviously the uh, the high mag high capacity magazines, the duct tape magazines, and the drum. Um, but the thing is, is that I found out that uh, you know short controlled bursts help uh, helps a lot more than um, long fire or suppressive fire or however you want to say it. Um, you can't change the color or anything like that. I thought that kind of sucked, but um, I don't know. Maybe there's a feature that I haven't seen yet. But um, there's that one and then down here you can see all the attachments that you have on the current weapon that you have hovered over at the moment um, the so far I'm not really uh, not really digging the sniping in the game uh, because it's not really sniping it's uh, like a heavy heavy assault rifle rather but it's a single fire um, like granted this looks like a sniper but um, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily say it is a sniper and speed sling there you go and then you look down the barrel and you're like pew, 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 pew. you know um, I like how you can look at the gun though that's kind of cool and uh, it's kind of hard to control though I'm gonna back out of there and then here's your secondary um, personally I'm a big fan of the Belgo and the Hockler uh, both are fully automatic weapons, and I actually need to customize this one a little bit more. I'm going to throw a red dot on it. And uh, one of those, and a speed holster. That way I can switch back and forth real quick from it. Um, the, uh, what is it, the resistance, I guess? I don't know uh, what we're called on the on the escape the arc side. But then there's the uh, protect the arc side. The guns will look different depending on what side you're on. And... Um, since I, I play on that side, I, I usually choose that one. And um, we'll go back to the uh, the Belgo here. Okay, all right, cool, done. And this little dot right here is supposed to let me switch between default weapons. I don't know why it's not letting me do it. Maybe it's for light only? So yeah, I guess I'll have to stick with the Hockler for now. Did this have a magazine? Sure did. Okay, so um, I, th I believe the Belgo is only for light body weight types, and I'll show you guys that right now. Body type, there's heavy, who is 
fucking ginormous and um, medium and light. And light moves super quick and he can just run up everything. Um, and uh, he can wall jump, uh, wall run, everything. It's, it's pretty awesome, but he dies super quick. Um, medium is so far still my favorite, but I, I think if I had uh, teammates, I would go with uh, having a heavy on demand. Um, let's go um, <clears throat> a vest. We'll change his pants up to um, the wasted. Sure, why not? Give him some sweet camo. Uh, jacket. I I really can't get myself away from the straps. Like I keep unlocking all these other ones, but I really like these. I don't know why. We'll make them green. I was just in jacket, just in shirt, headgear, face gear, uh, fire starter, a voice, uh, and the dude. Oh wait, no, I don't unlock the voice yet, or I haven't unlocked the voice yet. Uh, I have unlocked a lot more stuff on the other side of the spectrum. Um, a lot of other, like, kind of cool stuff, like, uh, I like this because he looks like the Metro Cop from Half-Life 2. Um, uh, anyways, we'll back out of here. And, uh, abilities. Basically like perks, but you can have as many as you want. Um, you get right here level credits. Every time you level, you get a credit and your, your rank. I don't know when the rank levels up, but I think it just does it in intervals of, um, levels. So I think at level 5 I was able to get rank 2 stuff and maybe at 10 I'll get 3. Not sure. I don't even know what the level cap is. But um, a lot of the basic stuff is uh, sprinting while reloading. Um, or reload while sprinting rather. Um, I, I fucking love it. That was the first thing I got. Uh, combat intuition. Um, kind of gives you like a little, little radar thing when uh, people are aiming at you that you don't see. Increase life and increase supply. And then each one of these is a class. It's like this one is soldier abilities. And I've only gotten <coughs> two here for armor piercing ammo and scavenge. And I thought scavenge would work the way it does in Call of Duty where you just run over them and you, and you pick up supplies. But no, you have to go through like this little, um, like hold the F key to, to, uh, for like three or four seconds before you can do it. And so you sit there at a body for like three or four seconds just waiting for this meter to fill up. Medic. I uh, haven't done anything with Medic yet, but now that Puddles is playing, I'll probably uh, probably start leveling this up because you always need a Medic. Engineer is fun as hell. Uh, I love throwing out turrets and uh, turrets and landmines. Um, Kevlar is pretty sweet too. Operative uh, is just like the Spy and um, and TF2. Actually, all of these are like the uh, TF2 really, but um, that's good though because it works for them and it works for this and it's fantastic. Um, you can disguise yourself as, as different things. Comms hack seems like it'd be kind of overpowered. Um, you extract tactical intel from incapacitated enemies. It's successful. Every enemy's location will be shown to you and your teammates' radars. Um, it'll only last for a little bit of time, though, and I don't know the exact time of that. It's probably only maybe 10 seconds, if that. Um... You can, uh, each, uh, person has its own, like, abilities, like, uh, engineers, uh, they fix things, operatives, uh, can hack things, soldiers can blow up stuff, uh, I am not sure what medics can do, uh, I haven't seen anything that only medics can do versus other people besides healing, but, um, oh wait, that was my, um, yeah, I'm level 8, okay, preferred class, so you know who you start off as, um, like I said, I'm a fan of either one of these at the moment, but I'll probably get into these as well later on. Uh, I stick to Soldier for now just because I like to give myself ammo. Uh, character selection, we've been there. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. There's three different types of ways to play. And um, there's campaign where you play through the storyline. And um, oh, it looks like I got two what if. Um, missions I can do. See, I, I finished uh, the resistance ones and now I'm, I can do the security ones. Or, well, I could do them before too, but I'll probably do these what-if ones next and that's probably what you guys will see. If uh, if not, uh, it'll be a gameplay with puddles. But uh, there's also free play, which allows you to choose any level and um, I assume it's a um, launch custom match. Okay, there it is match settings and then you could change whatever you want and um, so you can have your own type of gameplays and the challenges is a lot of fun 
The only one that I've been able to complete all three stars though is parkour this. Every other one, it's it's more of like why bother? Because you see here, uh, for level one, you get the um, the light rifle, front grips, and rapid fire. For doing it for two stars, you get Belgo, machine pistol, and silencers. But for three, you don't get anything. You just get your highest completion score on the leaderboard. So why bother really? Um, unless you're a leaderboard whore. But regardless, it's a lot of fun. I like it. Uh, what is this? Training video? Oh, that's where the audio logs are. Look at that. Um, but that's basically the menu right there, guys. And now we'll see you probably later today for another video. I'm going to try to pump out as many of these as possible.